I had originally planned to talk about LEGO Star Wars, but I'm still playing through the game and I, you know, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. Seeing as it's August and the summer is almost over, I thought that I would uh, finally make a video about Yakuza. That is a game franchise that I first experienced through its spin-off, Judgment, which is easily one of my favorite games ever. You know, I could make a whole video just dedicated to that one game. Today I wanted to talk about the Yakuza franchise and just how it got me through last summer. Uh, I had filmed all this footage and I had, you know, writ wrote, written down a bunch of notes that I wanted to uh, eventually turn into a video. So I'll have like these, these notes on the, the video I was gonna make. My notes mainly focus on Yakuza Like a Dragon, and that's the most recent game in the, you know, franchise with the, you know, with Yakuza in the title. Yakuza Like a Dragon is a departure from the first, like, iteration of the franchise. It's a lot to unpack, and it's a lot to get into in, like, such a short amount of time, but, like, I'm just gonna put it this way. So the Yakuza games are mainly about, um, fucking shit, how do I do this? It told this huge story about this, you know, about this man's life. It mainly just had you playing as an ex-Yakuza member navigating a life uh, outside of, you know, the Yakuza lifestyle while also trying to focus on uh, family. I feel like the main premise or the main like, you know, theme of this franchise is the importance of friends and family. It is a much more like heartfelt franchise and comedic franchise than one might assume just by looking at the covers. I played through all those games. Yakuza 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 0. And I liked them. I enjoyed playing them. Would I ever go back to play Yakuza 0, Kiwami, and you know, all those games through 6? Probably not. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, the original, the, or, the Kiryu Cosmo run of Yakuza, you know, 0 through 6. Those are good games and I like those games a lot, but the ones that really like, like hit me in the heart is, you know, of course Judgment, but Yakuza Like a Dragon. And it tells this brand new story following Ichiban Kasuga, which is, I don't know, it's just with all the shit that he goes through in the game, he still emerges like smiling and like hopeful at the end. There's never a moment where like the light leaves his eye. Wow, like I played this game, I played this game last summer and I just remember it just, really making an impact on me. So yeah, Yakuza, what makes Yakuza Like a Dragon much different from uh, the games that came before it is that it's not like a, it's not an open world action beat em up. It is a open world RPG, like turn-based RPG. Again, like now that I talk more about it, or that now that I talk about it out loud, I feel like I wouldn't be able to enjoy this game had I not played Persona. As soon as I played Persona 5, like, I felt like I could take on the world. Like, I felt like I could play any RPG that, like, was handed to me. It definitely got me through last summer. Not that, like, last summer was, like, like I was going through anything particularly, like, difficult or, like, it got me through a hard time. But, like, when I think back to, like, you know, summer of 2021, I'm... I'm gonna remember like Yakuza Like a Dragon because of just how much of a joy that game was to play. And also just like how much it still sticks with me and how much character and just how vibrant it is as, you know, a game about the Yakuza underworld. And I love this game so much. I don't know what else to say about it, but I thought that just because I had, you know, the notes on the video that I was originally gonna make uh, on it that, you know, I would, you know, make it come to fruition and just talk about it on this channel and just how much of a joy it is to experience, you know. It doesn't matter what you're going through, doesn't matter what time, you know, of your life it is. Like, this is a great game to experience. Obviously, I'm biased, but I don't know. Just give it a shot. Even if you've never played Yakuza before, give Yakuza Like a Dragon a shot. Yeah, it's on Game Pass, so that also means every other mainline Yakuza, Yakuza 0 through 6, is also on Game Pass, you know, if you have an Xbox or a PC. I'm not gonna be a salesman for Game Pass right now, but uh, just letting you know, it is on there. And I highly recommend that, you know, if it looks even remotely interesting to you, that you try it out and you see it through, maybe cry at the end, 
It makes me cry whenever I think about the end credit song. Um, but yeah, uh, that is Yakuza Like a Dragon. I just love saying the title. Oh yeah, I forgot I have coffee. Oh my God, that's good. I need a minute. I was talking about Yakuza, right? Yeah, I, I think I, I think I got it. I'm gonna go play more games or do something else. I don't know, but um, yeah. I'll see you next time.